So the past couple of days, I've been getting messages and tagged on social media, uh, bringing my attention to all the news articles out there about the recent um, hack or breach on the ring.com camera uh, for the girl who recently had her ring.com uh, camera breached and somebody was able to uh, speak to this child um, while they were in their bedroom because the parents decided to put a ring camera in the child's bedroom. Somebody was able to breach the account and log in and start communicating to this child. Um, of course, when the parents found out, they were shocked and they were upset and immediately took to social media with their story. The story spread like wildfire and now we have the internet going crazy saying that ring.com is insecure. We see this a lot in our own industry here in the IT world where the tools that we use and the things that we use to support our clients um, have an issue and they get breached and then everybody wants to blame the tool. Everybody wants to say, oh, that tool's not secure. Uh, this tool, they're not doing a good job over here. And the reality of it is, is when we find out what really happened and peel back the layers of the onion, we find out that at the end of the day, these tools are secure. Companies like Ring, companies uh, like ConnectWise in, in our business, they do a very good job of security and they keep security top of mind. Where the breakdown in the security usually lies and what we find is with the user. And users are not securing their passwords or devices, their software well enough to prevent somebody else from getting into their account. If you don't have two-factor authentication enabled on all your important things, your bank accounts, your work email login, your ring.com cameras, anything that you might use that you don't want somebody else getting into, you should have multi-factor authentication enabled on those accounts. That's how you prevent this. The ring.com incident that happened recently happened because the family in question had breach credentials on the dark web that were known. They will continue to use the same password on all their accounts. Rule number one, before you even turn on multi-factor authentication, don't use the same password on multiple websites. It's the easiest way a hacker is going to get into your bank account. They get one password from a LinkedIn breach, a Facebook breach, an Instagram breach, and then they go to all the banking sites and see if they can log in with your email address and password. And boom, sure enough, they get in. In this case, they got in on ring.com. They were able to put a pretty big scare into this family's life um, that somebody was able to communicate with their child. And I'm sure any parent would be um, startled and disturbed by something like that. But it almost felt like everybody wanted to put the blame on Ring. When the reality of it is, is that as consumers of these products, whether you use them at home or you use them at work, you always need to be thinking about security first. So don't use the same password across multiple sites turn on multi-factor authentication and your ring camera won't get hacked and none of your accounts will get hacked. Thank you for watching this video from Exact IT Solutions. And if you like what you saw here today, please give us the video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or you want to comment about anything that you saw in our video, please do so in the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to get alerted when we upload new videos to the channel, please hit the little alert bell and hopefully YouTube will notify you when we post new content. Um, check out the link in the description below for any more information relevant to this video. And if you want to know anything about our services or how we can help your company with IT, please check out our website at xitx.com.